Hmm. What do I miss most? My teammates, just being around my teammates every day, uh, hanging out in the locker room, joking around, going to eat together, alumni and ADUG, just, just having fun with each other because we cried to be around each other. It was, it was a good squad, a good team. It was fun to be with them. So I think that's the thing I miss most, just knowing that I'm going to see them every day. Uh, my undergrad degree was in marketing, and uh, I had actually switched that from accounting. And now I'm doing sport management to finish off for my master's, so I'm just trying to round myself, diversify everything. Um, after this year, uh, right now I'm actually looking for agents and things like that so I can play pro basketball. When I go home, more than likely I'm a just do an internship or work with Under Armour or the Baltimore Ravens. Just, just get a little bit of experience before I go play ball wherever, overseas or NBA, D-League, whatever comes up first. And then I'll probably come back and keep trying to build my career as I'm playing pro basketball back and forth. So just trying to diversify myself and make sure I have a career established for myself outside of basketball whenever I'm done playing ball. Ah, greatest accomplishment. Well, I mean, of course, on the floor, this is one that scored a lot of points. I didn't expect to have that many points when I scored a thousand, and I got on there, and that was that was big for me. I was surprised when they called it out. But just here in general, just just being able to finish school and and do well. I believe I finished with a, above a 3.0 the entire four or five years I've been in college, and. Um, I'm just happy with myself being able to play college athletics at the intense level of basketball and still being able to finish with good grades. I mean, of course, I think I could have done better academically, but I'm still happy that sometimes I'm tired, don't feel like doing the work or something like that, and I still was able to get things done. So that's probably one of the biggest accomplishments, I think. Just being able to handle adversity, uh, go out there and you know things aren't always going to go your way and you're not always going to be happy with the situation you're dealing with. So just to look at things on the positive and the bright side and just try to push through it, just be persever perseverant and uh, just always be ready to fight through whatever situations in front of you or whatever obstacles. And um, also like basketball, he just, he taught me like to slow down my game a lot and just think through situations instead of just going, it, going at it blindly. Hmm, that's a good one. To be honest, I might have to say during his college year, Cameron Payne, uh, he's, he was really good. We played against him a couple times. Didn't get to play him all the years I was here, but those few times we played him, he was he was a dog on the floor. He was he he led his team. He he carried them to victory almost every game, night in night out. Watching him on film, he was just like, yo, how are we gonna stop this guy? Like, what are we gonna do to stop this guy when we play them? And even though you study him on film, he still come out and, and give you everything he got. And he he pushed his team to victory against us every time, I believe. So he might have been one of the best players we played against, I think. That first more hit hysteria, to be honest. Um, we were out there, I think it was our first year, I was a red shirt, but it was, it was the crowd was there, everybody didn't know what to expect. It was Sean Woods' first year, it was a new team, a weird mixture of guys from Juco that played for Tyndall, and guys that Sean Woods had liked and things like that. And uh, just to be out there with the guys and not know what to expect when we were playing the scrimmage and everything. Some people were going harder than others, trying to impress coach. Other people were like, let me have fun, let me look good in front of the fans. Uh, it was just a good day. We had dunk contests, three-point contests. It was just fun. Um, and that was when I came in with most of the students that I grew up with at the school and graduated with and everything like that. So that might have been the, the, the start of the journey here at Moorhead. And I think that was one of the most memorable times here.